Good afternoon ladies and gents and welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for clicking that button and joining me for today's video. I hope you're all well. So ladies and gents, you join me today in the woodland, my local woodland. We're out exploring the area and currently we are lost. I'm going to clue where I am. I must have took a wrong turn somewhere on the route but we are conveniently situated right near the river there uh, which is nice because we are going to do a bit of cooking today. Also I brought a few knives, a couple to update you on. Uh, you'll have seen on the channel in the past and one new one that has recently been very kindly gifted to me so stay tuned to the video. I'm just going to collect a bit of firewood for the stove and then we can get dinner cooking. Stay tuned. It's a very, very tranquil place this, and I believe there's uh, kingfishers along this river, so if I'm very, very quiet, I may be lucky enough just to see a dead crackhead's body floating slowly down the river. <laughs> Would not surprise me in this area. But I have actually just seen a couple of trout um, jumping up for the fly above the water. So there's definitely trout in there. This fire is well underway and the stove has not let me down yet. So I brought a couple of sausages out, some cheese, tomatoes and um, some muffins. So we're having a sausage, cheese and tomato muffin. So let's get the kettle on and have a little chat about the current knives in my arsenal. And a lot of you guys will have seen these somewhere on the channel before now. Um, but there is a new one, as I said. Just bear with me. Grab me grail. Grab the grail. Absolutely banging bit of kit this, ladies and gents. Um, I don't know why I waited so long to pick one up. You know how it is. So we're on one of my delicious coffees today. I think it's going to be a big one, although we are going to save a little bit just for a sip. Now someone said recently 
um, after the video of everything I bought at the Bushcraft Show, uh, a commenter wrote, the grail makes everything taste like bottled water. And I kid you not, it really does. I mean, the soy, I've never been ill that I know of from the soy mini, but the water never tastes as nice out of that as it does out of the grail. Absolutely. It's like um, Evian and Volvi calling one. Also, ladies and gents, I don't know whether any of you might have noticed in the last, not the last video, the all the bars from the Bushcraft show, but I have actually purchased a separate grill for the Winnowell stove. Um, I think this one was from Timu. Cost about 40 quid, and it's the perfect fit for this stove. You got a little bit of overhang, just in case you need to, uh, you know, take it on and off. But I think it really suits the stove. Stove is performing as I would expect. Absolutely fantastic stove. Quite expensive, but I think you get what you pay for. As you can see, they would just feed all these twigs in continuous fuel so what have we got today let's go with the Brazilian Right, ladies and gents. Let me ask you a question. How long has my awesome community been watching this channel? Or me on YouTube? Some of you a very, very long time. Now, would you be surprised if I told you I forgot something? <laughs> so I've just been looking around at the ingredients. Cheese, check tomato check sausages double check muffins in the back of the car um, the steak detectives breakfast sauce the back of the car so we're going to forego the uh, sausage muffins guys and just go with the sausage a couple of lumps of cheese and some raw tomato I'm on a diet anyway so can't do me any harm bloody hell gutted Never mind. Never mind. Let us continue. Alright guys, I'm just going to eat my uh, disappointment now and I'll come back. It's just warm. Ah, coffee just makes everything better. Right, ladies and gents, I'm over my little drama now. Got a fresh cuppa, fire's blazing, and everything is once again okay. So, let us have a little chat about knives. Bushcraft knives, survival knives, the brands I've used in the past, my current favourite brand, what I use now. So, this is all going to be from the hip. I'm not changing the camera. I've got two going, so we'll interchange. But, I think everyone who enjoys the world of Bushcraft visits the brand Mora at least once, especially when they're starting out. Mora do some really cheap and cheerful knives, but they're really good uh, quality and they do serve a purpose. Myself, when I was looking at Mora, I went straight to the Mora Bushcraft Black. 
that was my favourite knife at the time. I still have that in my arsenal of knives. Um, I did go to the Mora Garberg, but I since sold that and I've kept the Mora Bushcraft Black. It's a great knife, fantastic. For those that have watched the channel for a long time now, you'll know I am a very, very big fan of the brand Falkneven. Falkneven comes from Sweden and they do some absolutely fantastic knives. Very expensive knives, but again, they do serve a purpose and you, you get what you pay for, basically. So, when I was looking for my first um, survival slash bushcraft knife, I seen a review of the S1X on the Dutch Bushcraft Boys um, YouTube channel. And as soon as I seen that in action, I knew that had to be mine. So, that was the first Falkneven knife I ever bought. And here we go. Now you can buy this knife in all flavours from the S1 to the S1 Pro, the S1X and the S1XB, which we have here. The B denotes the 85HRC tungsten carbide coating that this knife did have on the face of the blade from new. Um, as soon as that was introduced to my folk even diamond side though, um, that was a thing of the past. So we have half coated in the tungsten carbide and the bottom, the biting edge, is now polished. Now the knife is a full tang affair. We have a couple of very skinny scales either side of that. Uh, I'm not sure on the name of the material they use for the scales, but it's very comfortable for me. It was a bit prickly when I first got it new, but they have turned quite tacky now. And again, that's quite ergonomic in my hands. But being constructed from 6mm stock, you can imagine this is a hefty blade. Now, despite the knife size, this is quite a functional knife. And in my ownership of five or six years now, I have done absolutely everything bushcraft related with this knife. From spoon carving to chopping, all your bushcraft wood tasks, food processing, but where this is most devastating is battening. This will make absolute mincemeat of any size log. Um, again, with that 6mm stock, this just rips timber apart. Absolutely amazing. The S1XB is a full true convex, and in my opinion, one of the easiest blades to sharpen. It does take a razor's edge, and the edge retention is admirable. I've never suffered any chipping out or rolled edges, as Whenever I've used one of my knives anyway, it always gets a visit to the strop shop while I'm on site. So ladies and gents, that is my S1XB. This is usually paired up with my winter kit and I'm happy to use that in the colder, wetter months being a stainless blade. Obviously that is a lot more resilient to rust. Fantastic knife. My second Falkneven knife, and I think I've owned this now for around three or four years, is the Falkneven R2 Scout. Now I initially picked the R2 Scout up as a companion blade for the S1XB and they do both come in very similar sheaths in fact, I would, in fact I would say the same only smaller but again despite its diminutive size the R2 Scout is again a little tank this one is constructed from 5mm stock and this one comes in LMAX so a quality stainless steel there it takes a razor sharp edge again it does have um, Falkneven's proprietary handle wrap there I'm not sure what that is I can't remember but I will put it up on the screen. And on the back we do have an exposed pummel. This is great for scraping um, wood fibres, bark and striking a fire steel. Again, very comfortable in the hand. Um, the last, I don't think you would have seen this one actually on this channel. Um, I think this made an appearance on the very first channel when I did a small review on it. Um, and I don't think I've had it out since. Again, this is usually paired up with my winter kit with the S1XB. Um, and this has never, never seen a stone. It doesn't really get used, although it will be used in the coming winter. So that is my R2 Scout in LMAX. Again, a fantastic little knife. And again, this is perfect for wearing around the neck. Like so. Oh, pissing out. Now my third and final knife from Falkneven, although not the last. Um, is a very special knife indeed and it's not one I've purchased myself rather than one that was very kindly gifted to me during Steve's visit to the UK a few weeks ago. Now before Steve hit the um, UK I did have a small necker commissioned for him from Graham at GT Knives. You may have seen mine, the little one I wear around my neck, the dainty thing. I had one of them made for Steve when he came over. I presented it to him as a gift just as a, a little thank you for all the things he's done for the channel. Now a couple of days into his visit we were getting into the car um, going out for the day. Long story short, he just said to me, Steve, here's a gift. There we go. 
and he presented um, this to me. Now this is absolutely awesome. This is the Falkneven PXL folding knife from again Falkneven. This one again is in LMAX and this being a folder it is a bloody beast or a mini beast. I say small it's actually bigger than the Falkneven R2 Scouts in blade size as you can see there and even full knife size. I think this is one of Falkneven's larger folders. It does have a liner lock. Well this thing guys is absolutely stunning. Make no mistake about it. So again the blade is LMAX and that will take an absolute razor's edge. Um, it's a really nice stainless, really good edge retention on this LMAX as well. But the rest of the knife we have stainless steel bolsters and pins. And then we have the black micarta grips on the back of it. And slap bang right in the middle of them black micarta scales we have the Falkneven Three Crowns emblem. Standing proud there. And this thing just exudes quality. It just feels like a gentleman's a gentleman's pocket knife. Obviously highly, highly illegal over in the UK and if I'm caught with that, no good excuse will uh, get me out of the slammer. But <laughs> just to hold it and play with it. And especially when, you know, he's like, kabow! Just made that word up there. But um, yeah, really, really special knife. And it's, it's very, very weighty. And I do think you could actually perform a little bit of bushcraft with this um, with this blade, doing it the correct way, obviously with the folder. But it's fantastic at um, food processing, really great food processing knife. I think it comes in there. The main stock on the blade looks to be about three and a half mil, three mil. Um, and then we have a nice little swedge on the front of the blade there. Really nice profile, but stunning, stunning knife. Now the thing that makes this knife even more special, ladies and gents, is that this was for many years Steve's personal EDC, his everyday carry knife. And I do believe it is legal to carry these knives over in Mexico. Although again, if I was caught with this over in the UK, no good excuse would get me out of a cell. Um, so this unfortunately is one for the uh, collection draw at home. So ladies and gents, that is the current lineup of my Falkneven collection. Again, it won't be the last. In fact, I'm currently looking at the Falkneven Modern Bowie and another one of their pocket knives to add to the collection. So watch this space. Um, again, these are very expensive knives, each and every one of them. Um, but you get what you pay for with Falkneven and the quality is just absolutely fantastic. Okay, ladies and gents, so I hope you've enjoyed this little video and a look at my current collection of Falkneven knives. Hopefully, uh, with the weekend comes, the weather's going to be right enough for me to get out and finish the review for the 5 metre canvas bell tent sent very kindly from the guys over at Canvas Tent Shop. So hopefully weather permitting I can get out and finish that video weekend and bring you some of the week after. And that's it ladies and gents, nothing more to say. So until the next one you stay safe and as always stay crafty. See you again guys, bye bye. Start getting a leak. Ooh.